Hello, good day everyone, and welcome back to one of our recorded Let's Play sessions here in Stellaris. So for the record, we are now on our episode 17, featuring um, our uh, empire here in uh, Stellaris that I have created, which is... Oh, wait, just give me a moment here. Uh, which is the United Nations of Seoul. So currently, we're now in the year 2368, uh, October 26. Our current uh, General Secretary is Roman Fedorova. And uh, recently, we had a war, a second war. Oh, uh, I guess there's some error here. It says the highly Urian annexation attempt. I think there's a mistake here. It's supposed to be... Um, I don't know, maybe there's some uh, error going on here, Ver but uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is the Fornax Union. See? Fornax Union. So there might be some uh, mistake regarding or error on my gameplay here. But uh, anyway, I'll, uh, there's nothing much I can do about that. That's the error on the gameplay. But, uh, moving on, uh, we have uh, a second war with the Uri Remnants. We're probably just simply annexing or absorbing the Uri Remnant. And uh, at the same time, we are probably creating, uh, we're just removing the Uri government, the Uri Remnant government and replacing them with another. Now, story-wise, I still have to think how this plays out or how, uh, uh, what uh, story I would write in on how it led to the second uh, Fornax Union, uh, Fornax Union Uri Remnant War. So we've got a busy, uh, you know, galaxy ahead because there we also have a situation where the Igarians, the Fallen Empire Igarians, have awakened. Now it is still. Uh, I still have to wait for the results of this gameplay. If there will be a rival empire, ancient empire with the Igarians. If not, then that's okay. They're not of a threat. So for now, uh, almost all of the planets here have been terraformed to a Gaia world, so they're now more habitable. And uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, we currently have two ongoing land invasions here. Um, uh, one is on the Cord, which is the home planet of the Uri Remnant. You can see it's a very wide margin. We're going to win with this one. And the boundary, which is... Uh, I think we're going to lose with this one unless I uh, get some, uh, you know, uh, reinforcements. Anyway, let's continue on our gameplay. So, uh, hopefully, uh, this is now episode 17. Uh, I hope this is going to be a very short playthrough and that uh, we might uh, get a conclusion, uh, uh, an easy conclusion with this uh, playthrough. But uh, in any case, uh, I am not going for, you know, rushing the story. I'm just uh, letting it as it is on how it will uh, play out. Oh, what's this? Uh, yeah, one more thing that I have to... Uh, uh, worry about here is that I have to uh, ascend some planets here unfortunately um, the good news is my economy is doing better I have now 1k worth of alloys uh, and almost all of my productions here are being ramped up um, so there's still uh, a lot of things left here ah uh, okay um, so, uh, yeah, um, New Taiwan is still currently uh, the second ecomonopolis of UNS. New Taiwan is still being uh, um, being developed. Uh, there's nothing much I could do about that. Um, I currently have several planets here as well that are being uh, colonized. Um, great, I have... Uh, I think, yeah, we have a name here, Prison World. Uh, we're still going to uh, name that later on. <laughs> okay, uh... Right, um... For the moment, I'm still currently, uh... A little bit low on the naval capacity here. Um, there's, uh some uh, loose ends that I have to uh, fix anyway oh yeah one more thing that I would like to add as well here I'm not gonna name this one UNS Civil Defense Fleet because uh, 
you know, uh, it's not exactly part of the uh, UNS official armed forces. So I'm just going to more focus this one on uh, uh, UNS uh, private military company. So uh, I'll just name a simple, uh, yeah, Griffin, uh, Griffin, uh, what do you call this? Griffin Private Security. Yeah. The private security fleet so uh, this is actually uh, you know I've stated in the story that uh, there are a lot of PMC so private military contractors that are operating in the UNS space of course the largest are four you uh, four private military con contractors the uh, Crimson Company the uh, Dragon Spearhead Company and the uh, Fortress Initiative is well known as well and the Griffin. Oh, Griffin. Okay, I'm just going to rename this one just so it won't be confusing. This will be, uh, I don't know, maybe, um, oh, Ratchet, uh, yeah, ra Racket. Racket Private Security Limited. Yeah, Private Security. Yeah, um, since we have a racket admiral, so this will be named as a racket private security, a small time uh, security contractors. Um, uh, going back uh, on story wise, there are a lot of, uh, there are four major uh, private military contractors that operate in UNS, but there are also several hundred, just to make it sure, several hundred small private military contractors as well. In any case, uh, since we got some, uh, uh, probably I'll just, uh, hmm. Well, I'll just put some of these guys to New Mongolia, which is, uh, oh, great. You know, if I got a lot of 40 planets, it's really, uh, what do you call this, uh, really a handful to manage. Okay, uh, just give me a moment here. Um, New Germany, New Netherlands. Um, New Palau, New Madagascar. Oh god, there's a lot. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go with this one. Now, um, of course, uh, for uh, gameplay purposes, the UNS world will be named after a country in real uh, old on Earth. And I'll just add new. Okay, Indonesia, Samoa, Australia. Okay, New Mongolia. Oh, we got six unemployed. Um, okay, we're just gonna go for New Taiwan. I guess uh, New Taiwan is... It's a relic world, but... Uh, might help. Okay, so there we go. Um, now, um, New Taiwan will have to do a little bit resettling from... New Mongolia. Um, yeah, we got six unemployed Mitfal guys. Also, there's also a situation in, I think, uh, New Lebanon where the UNS scientist is fiddling or uh, UNS fiddling is an, they're fiddling in the uh, inverse matter which led to the discovery, of course, of the jump drive. The Khan Jewel Milk system. So uh, as you can see here, we got a destabilized horrific inverse mass. So uh, you know, as a precaution, I evacuated most of the pops here in case uh, this planet explodes. Okay, we got a fleet here, uh, forty-nine thousand. Station reports enemy contact. Yeah, well, there's nothing much I could do about that. So probably this fleet used some sort of jump drive tech. And we are going here. Along with the uh, racket private security. So um, yeah. So I'm going to reinforce my six UNS fleet here. 
Oh, I got the Dragon Spearhead fleet, which is good. Now we have to uh, deploy them since they're uh, a private military security force. Before next Union fleet will have to be uh, refitted here. Okay. Now for Ascension Parks, I'm still choosing which is uh, which is beneficial in my case. I could go for one vision. Uh, I go get plus ten monthly unity, pop amenities, and government attraction. But kind of feel that it's a bit short. Could also go for ecology project, which will definitely help out on my uh, UNS worlds to make me more. Uh, you know, produce more alloys. Hmm. Okay, um, right, uh, where's my expansion plan right here? It's supposed to be a toxic terraforming uh, climate restoration. What's this? Terraforming cannon. Okay, terraforming cannon not within our borders. Huh. Okay, uh, Weak magnetic field. Terraforming candidates. Okay, so there's a lot of improvements on uh, the new uh, update here for the Stellaris game. And uh, for everybody's information, the uh, version of Stellaris I'm playing it with right now is the. Uh, uh, wait. Let me check what which version. It's a uh, version Orion 3.6. Point one open beta so uh, there uh, by the time playing this uh, there's uh, already uh, two new versions uh, that are uh, available in Stellaris one is the uh, what do you call this the one that uh, has some sleeves and then the other is Paragon which is coming up on this May but unfortunately my uh, connection at work isn't uh, enough or isn't strong enough to make an update so I'll probably be have to keep this uh, version here or this uh, gameplay version of my uh, Stellaris okay so what we got here oh right well anyway my uh, Two of my fleets here are moving fast, 27, 34 days within a month they'll be moving in in the system and uh, you know, combat this crashing wave fleet, totally destroying uh, probably. <laughs> okay, let me see, uh, I think I'm still building a... Uh, Spaceport lost to enemy action. Okay, uh, yeah, of course, this is bit of a problem on my end but uh, okay right so two of my fleets are now entering the battle uh, ter third UNS fleet and the racket private security which is uh, of course uh, as we can see as we can all tell it's a private uh, security force by the UNS okay I'm just gonna sell a few uh, Minerals here. I don't think it's uh, minerals are not really that important. Um, Fleet action underway. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see how uh, the battle is going with these guys. It's gonna be a massacre for them because uh, we got a lot of fleets here. Oh. Okay, so we got some issue here. Stability with this area is. I have no idea why it's not stable. Low hust stability, trade value, I guess. Okay. Um. Right. So we'll just going to. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Okay, archaeological. Uh, 
Temptation of Technology, we have liftoff, though dangerous. The alien ship intoxicating mist could augment the effectiveness and loyalty of an Empire soldier. However, the question remains, should we subject our own soldiers to this hazardous substance or should we say no and learn from this? Well, Sage Rage. Well, this is combat enhancement. Um, I think I'll go for combat enhancement for army, army damage. Um, 100 uh, influence points is nothing. We can still earn it. And, uh, so we'll go with this one. This one is permanent addition. Okay, rage outbreak. We foolishly thought that they were immune to the mist, but our scientists are experiencing. So that should give us some, uh, at least some advantage. In yeah, I think it's a losing war on that one. Anyway. So yeah, we're just going to Okay, so they're successfully uh, defeating the uh, this uh, Fall in the Uri remnant fleet here Okay I just have to uh, Yeah, I'll just put him here. Mm, the UNS six fleet is kind of busy right now. Okay, we just uh right, so I'm just gonna land my armies here. And uh land my folks inbound message traffic. Okay, which is mutation is this? Mm -hmm. Holy three acid empire. Well we could decline with that. <laughs> oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to uh, just tell as a precaution, I'm going to save my gameplay every 30 minutes just in case that my uh, gameplay hangs or uh, stalls, I at least could back it up or I just... Uh, there, uh, I, I just had to back it up every 30 minutes so that the, lo the data loss wouldn't be that uh, severe and I could just backpack it or uh, the backpacking that I will have to make in case uh, you know it happens would just only be 30 minutes so um, just to uh, say it but anyway um, okay what do we have here science division report okay. success right we got the gaze cannon now uh, mega structure yeah storage capacity 20,000 hmm Okay, Sui 2 Remnant. Jeez, uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, right now, I'm gonna go from resource capacity. It will take two months. Okay, um, this one. I'll probably have to colonize this with humans. Um, this will be... Okay, so... Um, African country. New Congo will be nice. New Congo. Okay, that will be a fortress uh, trade world. I oh, got a lot of Gaia worlds, he Gaia worlds here. Science division report success. Okay, right. Empire size from pops, uh, upgraded buildings plus jobs. Um, probably have to go with the cryo revitalization centers. It's more, it's more easier. It just only takes seven months. Huh, Enrique Morales. Huh. Well, uh, mega structure restoration. Wait, let me check with this. Are um, there is there any more alternative? Uh, 
Ripper Auto Cannon. But I'll go with Kinetic Battery first. We need this one. Oh, okay, we got a slave market. Okay, we'll just go with New Taiwan. So we're good with that. <laughs> okay, if you in his fleet will have its reinforcements. Oh, great. Okay, I'm loaning armies to new. Uh, Anyway, the uh, new the Uritonian fleet or the new uh, the Uri Remnant fleet isn't exactly that much of a threat now. We completely decimated them. Oh God, this is gonna be problematic on my end here. Um, with this one, we're still two thousand. We're just gonna easily get this one. Okay. Whew. This is really... Hmm. Well... Oh, sorry. Uh, I just got startled with that. Oh yeah, let's uh, put it on the gameplay now. <laughs> yeah, we got the wreck at private security. Okay, we'll just put these two fleets on ETR station for repairs right now. And uh, the uh, Uri Our remnant here has definitely uh, been uh, decimated. Okay, hmm. I got another problem with New Madagascar. Um, Wait, just probably have to uh, replace this one with one in trade district, I guess. Leisure and trade, no. Okay, so that's two energy, one leisure, one trade. That that'll do the trick. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I hope this is going to be just a quick war. <laughs> oh god, there's 1,000. So it's a total warfare here. <laughs> Do, 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 do. So far, it seems that I'm the only one operating in this area, and none of the Foreign Ex Union's fleet here is, uh, you know, willing to help out. Oh, very good. Okay, hmm. uh, let me guess. Hmm. Well, I could, um, I could trade off the unity points here with edict, with edicts, and uh, sign at least several, uh, yeah, you know, uh, several research with, uh, yeah, I think this could, this would do. Hmm. I could put this one and then say, right, sign several research on several, uh, for next union's fleet. I mean, for next union members. Hmm. Yeah, most of the uh, for next union fleet, uh, your for next union member states here are not really that. Uh, you know, they're not really uh, that strong. <laughs> Okay, well, the war is still ongoing for the Uri Remnants. Uh, it started on 
2367 Science November, so it's already at least going on for two years. Oh, still got low stability on what? New Madagascar. Okay, we got some technologies here. Enigmatic code. Um, I'll probably go with an, uh, particle lens. We need this technology for our Titan class ships. Oh, look at the time. It's almost 25 minutes. Hmm. Okay, right. Uh, okay. Um... Well, there's nothing much going on right now. What's this? Well, we need a science nexus. Well, probably I'll go for a science nexus. Um, 50 months, I'll go for this one. Resource storage capacity, megastructure, uh, restoration, because we need this uh, ruined science nexus to be online. And uh, probably also the Dyson Sphere as well. We need to uh, get that those two working. Um, it'll be uh, put the uh, UNS uh, on the uh, very powerful Battle position before the next galaxy to have those two ancient megastructures operational. Oh, okay, Antonia Isger has just died. Uh, that is a big blow to the uh, warfare here on the boundary. And, uh, yeah, well, we could go for a retreat. Okay, we'll, we'll go for a retreat for the front line right now. We failed to secure ground objectives. So it's best we go retreat. Um, core here is uh, we'll just have to wait for the uh, for the UNS army to clear off the uh, the core planet or the empire or the fallen empire capital planet and then we move into the second and uh, we'll just have to uh, merge this one I guess <laughs> Okay, they're gathering up their defenders here. Hmm. Right, it's already 360, so uh, that's still uh, that's still a lot. But we'll uh, the UNS can clear that anyway. Uh, have to sell some minerals here. New Macau uh, has uh, made a subsidy. Um, okay, uh, let me check with New Mongolia if. Uh, okay, New Slovakia is um, 83,000. Okay, so I need 83,000 just to upgrade these. Uh, uh, just to upgrade the production of. Uh, uh, the production here of um, whew, uh, to upgrade the production of uh, uh, to upgrade the production output of New Mongolia. I'll probably uh, replace this one with three more districts, I guess. Okay, that should do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the hell? I have a feeling that my uh, the other army here just joined in the fray or just regrouped it to join the battle in the core. Yep, I am uh, not surprised. But anyway, that's good because uh, we got a big battle ahead. Hmm. Okay, uh, right.
<laughs> okay, right. Hmm. We have claimed a new world. Okay, just pause. I'm just gonna pause this one and save. <laughs> Uh, just of course as a precaution on my gameplay here so this will be UNS episode 17 letter A there we go and I'm going to save this one on my OBS okay there we go that was quick so uh, let's resume now Dorfield Prime basically this is gonna be a um, I don't know, I think this is gonna be a tech world of some sort. Yeah, I think two tech worlds will be nice. Uh, but I haven't named this one. Oh, one tech world, one fortress world, sorry about that. Um, the fortress world will probably be pretty obvious, so it's just gonna be... Um, I don't know, maybe precinct houses and trade. Uh, one, two, three. And then I'll leave the rest. Uh, so, okay, well, it should be a military base. Um, okay, what? Uh, it's a fortress world, so I'm just gonna name this one new. <coughs> New Pakistan, I guess. New Pakistan. That's gonna be the name of that uh, planet. This one, a science tech world. Um, obviously, it's a research world, and then uh, and then trade. Then one, two, three, and then two, three, and then uh, clear this out. Okay, uh, this will be. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, Mediterranean uh, world, specifically uh, one that excels in science technology. Hmm. New Malta, I guess. Yep. There we go. Well, I couldn't name him Luxembourg, but uh, I think New Malta is doing fine. <laughs> so uh, we have right now, uh, I guess, 44 planets, and that's a lot. Uh, really, a lot to manage. <laughs> Okay, New Germany. For I was wondering, what if we could just keep this one as a factory world? If it's a factory world, it's oh, consumer goods. But if it's an industrial world, we can keep both. Uh, it's more like a balance. Huh. Tag, it's but we get more if it's specialized. Plus twenty five percent. Actually, it was more. Uh, I'll prefer more industrialized world rather than a forged world, just to keep Round it balanced. Secured. Okay, we got now. Um, okay. Uh, probably we'll have to uh, land our armies here. We got three thousand seven hundred. That's not a very good number. Mm hmm. Transport fleet, uh, oh god. going to be a very very difficult fight again mm -hmm.
so it costed us 40 percent of war exhaustion they are well, of course uh, it's very natural because they are uh, it's their hometown and they will defend it to them the uh, uns and the foreign acts unions are invaders ground forces are dropping on target hmm. Radar. Hmm. Okay, let's see how our army here fares with them. We got 4,000. They've easily replenished their, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, I probably have to call in some big boys here. From, let's just say, Diego Garcia. Alright, embark all guys. So well the um Okay um we are going to land our army here. I'm just gonna name a new general here. Enox Vertinaka would be nice. He is his race is a Kel Azan or Kelzan. So let's see his prowess in battle. Now uh, the thing here is that the good thing about the UNS is that they're kind of open when it comes to the military, uh, in the sense that they provide equal, uh, you know, equal opportunities for the armed forces. We I, it be either it you're a Xeno species or not. Uh, when it comes to civil liberties, uh, the UNS is still, uh, you know, you know. They're still uh, struggling with that part. Okay, we'll probably uh, divert put, put this Dragon Spearhead uh, mercenary fleet in the Adar system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, let me see here. Third unit's fleet seems to be pretty bad in bad shape, so we're just uh, going to, um, you know, reinforce them. Uh, actually, uh, the, res the resistance here of the uh, Uri remnants is very stiff. War exhaust is already up to 40%. Hmm, 40 hmm. For me, still wanted to choose what kind of. Uh, I'll probably go with this one, either Master Builders or Galactic Wonders. Well, we already got a Dyson Sphere. Um, we could also opt for Colossus Project. Or uh, Arcology Project as well. Anyway, I'll have to think of that later on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna construct here another um, Let's see if I could construct another uh, military orbital habitat here Orbital ring? No. Oh wait, wait, wait. We have an orbital ring. I guess the Taiwan could use a new orbital ring. <laughs> so we're gonna make a new orbital ring for Taiwan, our new Taiwan here. Okay, so this is essential because ta new Taiwan and new Singapore will be an industrial center for UNS. Construction complete. We're uh, grooming that and uh... Hmm, what else could we have? Well, communications jammer would be nice. Well, I'll go for this one. So we could repair our uh, fleets here in this station, that the, the Tigira station. Well, after all, um, the UNS still doesn't have to worry because we only have one fo uh, awakened fallen empire. So uh, that's not much of an issue. As long as. Uh, you know, there's only one Awakened Empire. Ok, 
Okay, uh, it's a pretty close fight, if you ask me. So, um... <laughs> well, I can just claim this one, it's totally uninhabited. I'll probably send the 6 UNS mission just to claim this one. Let me take... Yeah, it's being claimed, so uh, I'm good with that. <laughs> so we only got uh, acceptance of a status quo is negative uh, 10, so that's not very far. However, the thing here that dragged on the war is because of the uh, stiff resistance from the Uri Remnant. They are, of course, the Uri Remnant is still technologically superior. However, the UNS and the Fornex Union have the numerical superiority. So, uh, you know, it's kind of more like balanced fight. And, uh, well, my naval capacity is currently, uh, well, a bit, uh, well, um, well, a bit, uh, let's just say it needs a bit more working out. <laughs> ah, great, the second UNS fleet was badly defeated. Along with the first UNS fleet. Ah. They're pretty uh, shot up. I mean, they're pretty shot up pretty badly here. Wait, but we have the first fleet here. What's the first fleet? I mean, we don't like bubbles. We don't like dreadnought. UNS first fleet. And probably it's a cruiser. We'll probably have to put them to uh, racket private security. <laughs> right, uh, put in the boundary. <laughs> well, I wonder. Oh, they're currently at war with the, uh, uh, Sadran Manifold. Construction complete. And their friendly relations. Hmm. What do we have here? Kelzan. Hmm. Okay, let's see what the Kelzan does. Field engineers have cleared a blocker. Hmm. Okay, field engineers, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, right. This is a bit more, uh... Okay, we're going on very fast here, but my gameplay is uh, quite a bit slow now. I guess that means I have to buy a new computer. Hmm. Engaging enemy station. Okay, which one? Oh, okay. Dragon Spearhead, which is a mercenary outfit. Let's see how are they doing. Well, they're a pretty large mercenary group, 172,000. And, uh, yeah, they're uh, well equipped. And uh, they could easily put a good uh, work on this uh, star base. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Meanwhile, on the land base invasion, um, it's still a small margin here. Field engineers have cleared a blocker. Okay, well that's good if they've cleared a blocker. Okay, um, right, let me check with my technology here. Okay, we got two months, 67 months, of, and uh, let's check if we got some several uh, worlds here that need to be upgraded. Construction complete. Well, New Mongolia could be ascended now. Gives us another 20... Uh, tier 2. Okay, that's good enough for me. Well, Transit Hub would be nice. No, 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 no. Um, what's this? Well, I could go for disruption, shield points. Hmm. Oh, Help lane register would be nice. <laughs> okay, uh, they got some losses, but that's, uh, you know, not much of a concern because, uh, well, uh, that's what's the reason PM PMC is compared to soldiers. Uh, if there's a body bag that came in or one soldier died, expect some backlash in the public. But uh, when it comes to PMCs, when one PMC die, it's not really much well known because, uh, or uh, the public doesn't react that much. I mean, at least in game uni uh, story wise. Alright, so we're a little bit of a problem here. Hmm. Yeah, they're pretty putting up pretty much of a resistance here. Yeah, right. Ah, oh, damn it. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, that's not really... Hmm. Okay, we could go for jobs. Uh, ecological adaptation would be nice. 19 months. Yeah, we'll probably have to terraform uh, some worlds here to Gaia worlds. Oh, great, I have to recruit again. Anyway, I got some spare minerals, uh, so we'll probably... One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three... Yeah, I probably have to recruit some... Uh, We'll probably have to recruit some armies here. Um, going to recruit a lot of armies here because uh they're putting up a very stiff resistance 
So I guess I misjudge on that part on the army, but uh... Okay. Okay, just some minor calculation I guess. Okay, let me check one more here. Um, oh, urbanizer. Okay, I guess there's not much uh, going on in that part. Going through a massive recruitment again. of which, where's my army from New Gibraltar or something? I'm sure they should be on their way now. Yeah. Okay, um, where are they? Oh! Uh huh. Okay, they'll probably have to land. It will take them several days. Okay, yeah, they, they could take their time. Two thousand, and where is this thirty thousand? Okay, All right. Okay, I stopped it short of recruitment. So, how about New France? How about New Palau? We got a lot of recruitment here. <laughs> New Malta. Okay, I guess there's still no folks here. That should do the trick. <laughs> right. <laughs> Construction so complete. How's the battle going? Two thousand, one thousand. Okay. That is a lot of discrepancy. Inbound message traffic. Okay, well, uh, probably later. We'll decline. They're not a member of our next union, so there's no point in uh, signing a. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
Okay, right. Whew, this is well the uh, invasion here or the second Fornax union to uh, Uri Remnant War is really taking its time. Hmm. Oh great. I have to uh, check this one. Okay, we get some uh, polyvinate, human, and muscaloid. Hmm. Maybe I have to uh, set up some robot pops next time, uh, especially on this new development world, the prison world, and. Uh, Yeah, I probably have to, uh... Hmm. Okay, we'll just go develop, replace this one with, uh, I guess, robots. Yeah, I think just to, uh, you know, uh fill up the uh, population here we'll probably have to uh, fill up the robot district here so resource silos will have to wait our resource silos will be cancelled and it will be on robots and I'm gonna put that on top Yeah, robot assembly plants. That will help with the population here. <laughs> yeah, probably have a robot assembly plants for the. Um, what's this? Our empire does not know how to construct Construction any building. complete. Oh, we've already got the robot assembly plants. Okay, well that was my bad. So we got moats, probably have to go with gases here. Hmm. Okay, well for now there's no crisis yet, so I'm pretty much lucky, it's already 2370. So, uh, pretty good. <laughs> and the Awakened Empire here is just only a single Awakened Empire. God, it's 1,115. Well, finally about time they arrive. Enex Bert Britannica. Because, um... Yeah, it's a good thing I did pull out my, uh, army here. So that'll be a big help in, uh, battling these guys. What's this? Orbital bombardment, devastation on planet each day. Okay, so who's bombarding who? Show us your wares. Hmm. 500 unity, okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll just go for orbital bombardment here. Yeah, heavy. Yeah, we'll go for indiscriminate. Okay, these guys better do their job here. Because uh, these folks are having problems. <laughs> No, 1,000 plus 1,000 just 2,000. Okay, some more bodies, I guess, for the, uh, you know, for the, uh, oh, great. Okay, right. More bodies for the battle, or for the meat grinder. Uh, 
not sure why. Oh, thank goodness we got now 2,453. That's a very good, uh, oh, very good supply. Okay, I guess I'll uh, try to, uh, you know, build a couple of uh, more recruitments for. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess I have to recruit more, uh, I got an excess mineral, so, probably have to recruit more guys. One, two, three, four, five. There's Construction one, complete. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Planet fall. Okay, we'll just, uh, I'm just gonna add, uh, on armies here. Lots of it. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, run a few more here. One, two. Okay, new run. So I'm just gonna save this one because we're already, uh, uh, you know, over time. UNS episode 17B. There we go. And I am going to save this one on the OPS as usual. Okay, there we go. And uh, let's continue on where we do it. Where well, on what we're doing here. So where was I? Where currently recruiting in New Iran, so New Italy is not, Diego Garcia, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, 
Now we have to uh, change this one to robots. So we need uh, this as a pop boost for our production. Whew. <laughs> so where do we got new mega corp Madagascar? Right, um well, that should do the trick. New Singapore. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with this. Okay. Well the war here is uh really uh ongoing. 1,700 down. Okay, they're still, uh, well, leading. Huh. Okay, I'll, I'll just go get my soldiers from... Oh god, where's the nearest one? New Amsterdam will be nice. Probably have to embark them all. Um... Okay, uh, I'm just gonna head this one with my new general, uh, Beak of Orange. That's a cute name. Really lovely, I guess. And that should have at least, uh... My boundary is, uh, hmm. well, New Mongolia could, uh, uh, well, we got them garrison fleet back here. Hmm. New Gibraltar is apparently on a very far Yebra station here. Uh, Dragon Spearhead Space Dividend. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's see how it goes anyway. Uh, we're in 11 months on uh, ecological uh, uh, adaptation, which uh, of course it's a Gaia, uh, it's morely a sub project from the Gaia, uh, it's a Gaia world sub project of the UNS, basically terraforming all uh, UNS occupied worlds into. Uh, or UNS worlds into a Gaia world, making it suitable for almost every uh, species, almost in almost all species in the galaxy. Of course, uh, it will take some time. It still will take around 11 months, and on the uh, mega engineering, it's still 56 months. So, uh, given with the rate of my uh, gameplay here, which uh, you know will take quite a while. How is this? Hmm, okay, curious. Oh, okay. Alien DNA, hmm. So for now, we're still uh, building up a huge uh, military, or land military for our UNS. Uh, quite embarrassing, honestly. Wait, uh... Okay, we got Beak of Orange uh, going on Acme, but it's a long journey. Oh god. Hopefully, um, we could secure that. Well, uh, there's a large discrepancy, and uh, I don't think if my uh, forces here would, uh, you know, last that long. Uh, but anyway, if my forces goes beyond 300 uh, forces, I have to go to a, on a retreat with this one. For now, boundary is being bombarded. Oh, God. I don't know why my... I think the computer is cheating here. But, uh, let's see. 
Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna put on... Throwing a lot of bodies here, right here, just to ensure. Okay, I guess. Uh I guess they'll have to wait. Uh, reinforcements won't be uh, arriving anytime soon, unfortunately. Hmm. This is a problem on my end. Will they hold off? This is getting a very, uh, very long war. That's not much of a force that's left, to be honest. This is going to be a more of a disastrous campaign. Recon pass completed. Okay, for the fifth UNS, they get their uh. Oh. Okay, we'll repair the first UNS fleet, which is badly uh. Well, they're badly uh, beaten up. Two hundred. Oh God, they have to fend off that kind of. Uh, hmm. hmm. You probably have to go with the Gibraltar thing. Uh, where are these guys? Uh, embark all. Oh. 
Okay, so uh, yeah, they got the leader got killed. Construction complete. So uh, how about Isabella Hamilton? Construction complete. Ah, damn it! What the hell just happened with that? Hmm. Okay, our invasion of boundary has failed. Yes, that is. The expert to go of nine dread commander was killed as well. Oh, we have about eighty percent here. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. within a small force I'm gonna bomb that all ground forces are dropping on target mm. yeah, I should have bought it with a world cracker <laughs> Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, we got a particle lands. Um, how about a research institute? That would be nice. A disastrous, um, what a disastrous military campaign here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, uh, we'll just have to uh, live with that. I even ordered my uh, one contact class. lost with all sword ground elements. The operation yes. is a bust. Yeah, of course. That's not a surprise. One thousand seven hundred, and we're still loading or uh, invading several. Um, we're still sending military troops here. Oh god. This is really, really annoying. Okay, uh, what do we have right now? Well, we got a lot of army guys here. New Mongolia seems to be... Yeah, I think I could embark. Oh no. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll just do that later on, and uh, wait if uh, there will be some updates. Okay, we got some. Uh... Okay, 
they're now 2,000 strong, that's nice. Okay, we'll just send several uh, army guys here. How about the pretty tea? Ground forces are dropping on target. Yeah, Sibuso Kawaii would be nice. Hmm, I'll go for a butcher. Okay, so we got some several uh, okay, we got some several folks here uh, trying to you know they're contact lost with all sword ground elements. The operation is a bust. Yeah, yeah, of course. So they defeated several expeditionary forces that was sent by the UNS, and it was a disaster. Hmm. Hmm. Hopefully, we're sending a few guys here, a few capable guys. Hmm. There are landing several um, armies here. Hmm. Let's see if uh, they could manage this one. Hmm. Ground forces are dropping on target. Yeah, I think that will Construction hold Construction complete. Hmm. Logistics. We could go for naval logistics. I guess that'll do. Okay, finally got some fight here. 700. Uh, of course, this fighting force will not last that long, but it will be more than enough to at least uh, reduce the numbers here until our uh, forces from New Gibraltar arrive. So we got 800. Got several more here coming. Okay, 900, at least 1,000. Yeah, okay, we're good with that. Hmm. We could go for a jump drive attack here. Hmm. Yeah, speaking of which, we already have jump drives here. Okay, 10 days jump drive. <laughs> okay, I guess that would be enough to cause for a delay. Okay, we got 900 uh, freshly new, fresh new. Uh, Okay. Oh god, taking that system was really a pain in the butt, and uh, I don't know, um, yeah, it nearly took me uh, a whole uh, gameplay here. Okay, I'm gonna make him land here. Okay, landing army is a new boundary and we'll recruit a new guy here. How about Atana Vama? 
That's a kind of weird name, but that will do for now. Okay, we got 1,000. So that's enough fighting force for, uh, you know, uh, new reserves here. So mostly composed of Dread Commandos, humans. Well, they're pretty strong, yes. But, um, well, we could at least knock them out. <laughs> and I don't know. They're still kind of far. We'll take them. Uh, oh, okay. Now, if this doesn't work out, I don't know. I am going to uh, have to pause that, and I will take at least another uh, session here, and that's a three-episode thing. Hmm. Anyway, uh, for now, um, how is my Gaia restoration project? Okay, it will still take five months, so that's not that far. <laughs> and uh, I think I'll uh, try to uh, get a lot of money from that to, uh, you know, proceed with the restoration project. <laughs> Hunter killer groups. Okay, I'll just go land my stuff there. Okay, right, we're going to. Uh okay, I'm just gonna pause that for a second. You know what, I'm just going to call all my troops here available. And then we can bash them. Instead of, uh... Yeah, I have to call all of them. <laughs> so they'll have multiple, uh hordes uh, waiting for them and he getting sick and tired of uh, you know calling each one uh, troop individually so we'll uh, just send a whole bunch of them so uh, saves me time I guess got 1,000 and my 1k troop is still nowhere to be seen okay I'll uh hmm. okay uh yeah I just have to clear off all my uh troops there Oof. Unfortunately, I think we could go on uh, Ethior. Where's Ethior? Oh, we can have Ethior. I think we got one planet there. I mean, at least on Ethior. Oh, we didn't know it took it. It's a garrison force now. Okay, well, we could have Ethior. Thanks. Our allies just took it. <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah, Ethior and Haribas. I don't know what Haribas is. Here, Ethior and Haribas could be taken, but we need to take on the Rixum system. <laughs> Oh god, dear, this guy needs... This is gonna take them forever. 
and it's a 933 and uh, uh, let me take hmm, relics fine military applications okay uh, combat drugs yeah that's for army uh, reverse engineer arcane technology okay and uh, celebrate diversity but we're kind of lacking on that okay let's see if that gives us some boost in the army field engineers have cleared a blocker okay we're all damage update hmm oh yeah one more thing oh it's still in effect now okay that's good we're good with that <laughs> God, this is a very, very long campaign. I wish that the the war uh, would end soon, so that we could, uh, you know, solidify our grip with the uh, western part of the galaxy or Fornax galaxy. <laughs> And uh, we're probably moving on to the final 30 minutes now. <laughs> okay, uh, the second UNS fleet is pretty badly shot up, so we'll probably have to, uh, you know, fix them up as well. So, uh, how is... Well, terraforming here will just only take three months, so that's not a really uh, long shot from now. Uh, okay. <laughs> so for now, um, like I said, the uh, the Garians are uh, pretty much uh, doing their thing. I'm not sure about the. Uh, what's this? Palira and Protectors, if uh, they're kind of, you know. Sorry, I just, uh. Oh, okay, I just have to clear my ear because uh, it's a little bit itchy. Okay, Empress Vaki, Nora Briak. Hmm. But they do have a very strong fleet here they have 300,000 they seems to be uh, you know amassing a great uh, firepower as well so it will be east versus or north versus uh, south but uh, for now the only uh, awakened empires is the Igarian arbitrators so uh, we're not sure if they're gonna meddle with the galactic affairs or that they'll just sit idly on their uh, you know they just awaken just to prevent or just to uh, just to preserve their existence because they're threatened by the uh, Fornax Union and the UNS so uh, we'll keep that standby if the or um, we'll just keep that uh, in check and I'll think of a uh, story-wise on how uh, this will plot or play out. Anyway, it's already 30 minutes, so I'll have to save this one. So this will be UNS uh, episode 17, letter C. There we go, and I'm going to save this one again on our OBS, and then we're moving on to our final 30 minutes of our recorded Let's Play session here. So just give me a moment. Alright, so there we go. We are now on our final 30 minutes of our recorded Let's Play session. And let's see how this will turn out. Oh god, what's this? Another slave market. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so how is the battle right now? 600 and we got 928. Okay, and our first uh, arrival here is Fleet 197. <laughs> oh god, they're really slow, bro, in this one. It's 
now 600. Not a very good number, if you ask me. But hopefully we will, uh, you know, uh, we'll probably have to capture that, even if it means throwing a lot more bodies on that uh, area. Hmm. Okay, uh, oh, 500. Will they make it? We don't know. But there's a lot coming on their way, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so leaders. Uh, let's see if we got, we got a ton of generals right now. And they're currently, uh, you know, battling the stuff here. Okay, um... Whew, Isabella Hamilton better hurry up. Because our folks here are kinda... Well, uh, they really need help. Just to simply put it. <laughs> yeah, well, there's not. anyway, since we're all absorbed with that, um, let me check. Okay, we got one general. Oh, okay, governor, governor of New Norway. Um, yeah, he just recently died. So, who's this? Um, we have speed, unity from bureaucrats. We currently need unity from bureaucrats right now. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, just I'm just gonna pause this one. Gonna go for all upgrades with these. Whew. Yeah, the chore of upgrading my uh Science Division report success. Okay, so I guess the terraforming project has been completed. So you know what that means? It means it's about time we're gonna... Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, wait, 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 just give me a moment here. Uh, this is a lot to take in. Okay. Okay, um, one more time. Terraform this one to a Gaia world. Uh -huh. So expect most of our worlds here will be Gaia worlds. Hmm. So this is our Gaia world project now. Oh yeah, we, we can't turn that Gaia world into... Oh, New Canada can't. Oh yeah, it's already a Gaia world. My bad. Um, okay, Gaia world. Yeah, well, I'm gonna um, sell a few stuff here. And a uh, few stuff as well. Mm 
Yeah, okay, uh, I guess that's uh, that's it. Okay, where's uh, New Ni Nigeria is? New Nigeria will be terraformed to a Gaia world. New Lebanon will also be okay. I'll just have to uh, you know build a lot of money on that. Hundred and seventy-eight. Whew, okay, that's a very, very uh, small margin here. And more folks are coming. Very, very, very close battle. Uh, oh god. Okay, I got a few more, uh, whew, got a few more armies here inbound. Okay, uh, right. We got a lot of inbound, <laughs> okay, so uh, we're, uh, anyway, we're moving on for our final 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, this is very, very uh, tedious. Uh -huh. Hopefully, we'll be declaring victory with System this one. reconnaissance completed. Oh, good. Uh -huh. We can every shot around, so we'll try to find additional zones. Okay, that's good. Science Division report success. Okay, what do we got here? Unlocks Research Institute. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for Tachyon Lands, I guess. Tachyon Lands is important on its military application, so uh, we'll just keep it that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, got a ton of landing armies here on boundary. And hopefully there'll be I don't know, maybe reinforcements. surprised with uh, General Beak of Orange, he really knows how to hold a front line. And reinforcements have been arriving every now and then. Okay, 
yeah, I guess uh, the army is the boundary. So, uh, yeah, and several, uh, whew, this is a very, very arduous uh, land battle. Of course, it was a disastrous uh, military campaign by the UNS, which was saved by uh, by General Beak of Orange. Got several army guys still landing their forces. Hmm. Okay, 400. Uh, I'll small a bit. God, we got now a very, very close in fight here. 400 versus, uh, you know, for the full uh, gameplay. Uh, Alright, so we got uh, two more. Okay, so we're, uh, we are having another inbound. Uh, okay, well, that's good. We're having an incoming inbound from another army. Uh, army division. Which is uh, kind of good. They're coming on both sides. Whew, that was a very, very artist uh, battle, I must say. <sighs> Hopefully, I uh, really took my two hours off. <laughs> Uh, and we have another one here. Yeah, it's a good thing I mobilized all those fleets now. See what we got here. Okay, we're now even from four eighty seven to four thirty five. And uh, I guess we got oh, one thousand nine hundred ninety eight. Yes, that is very, very good numbers. We're definitely gonna win with that one. Okay, right. Hmm. New Cambodia is okay. So this is gonna be a trade and entertainment. And one with this. And uh I don't know. Trade encampment and uh hmm. Probably shield generator will be nice. And this is going to be a fortress station. Okay, and that's uh. Hmm. Yeah, that's a fortress station. Okay, so this is kind of a guaranteed victory now, at least. Uh, at least on my end, on what I'm looking at, we got 2,536 from a complete disastrous campaign. We rebound before we end this uh, recorded Let's Play. So, uh, yeah, that's a good... Uh, and then we're just going to conclude that. Once, of course, we uh, take in the core and the uh, this new system, so we're just going to sign up a deal with them. 
So, uh, our notable heroes for this one, or this military campaign, is Beak of Orange, a Mitfell immigrant from UNS. So, an immigrant general to be specific. So, yeah, there we go. That's a good thing. <laughs> Okay, what's this? Excellent. Alright, first you're in a fleet. Okay, so, um... Where was I? New Nigeria is being terraformed, if I recall, correct? No. Okay, uh, it's being terraformed. How about... New Lebanon? A new Libya will also be terraformed to a Gaia world. And new Morocco, if I recall correct, should be. Uh huh, probably have to sell this food. <laughs> new Iran has also have to be uh, terraformed to a Gaia world, please. Okay, just give me a second here. Mm, just have to pour a lot of resources with this. Okay, mm. um... So, New Iran will have to be terraformed. How about New Year to leave? What the hell is this? Uh, yeah, terraform to, uh, so we're gonna terraform this one to a Gaia world, New Netherlands will also be a Gaia world, so we're going to make all of our worlds here a Gaia. Hmm. Okay, so by the end of, uh, I don't know, 3,600 seconds or 3,600 days, um... That's it. We got several hundred uh, mm, new mountains at Tech World, so uh, we should build a research uh, lab on it. Um, how about we sell this one? Okay, hmm. how about this? Okay, uh, New Malta is gonna be um, terraformed to Gaia World. And Pakistan is going to be terraformed as well. Okay, I guess that's uh. Well, I guess that's good. Um, Anyway, we just really have 10 minutes here. So we're currently now on our way to, uh, uh, what do you call this? To uh, terraform all UNS worlds into a Gaia world to make it suitable as part of the Gaia project. So hopefully this part of the Fornax galaxy will be livable to all uh, Xeno species of any walks and shape, of any kind of walk, uh, shape or form or walks of uh, whatever, whatever you call it. It's uh, what I meant to say was the, uh, the UNS embark on the project to make the western side of the Fornax galaxy 
to make the western the planets of the western side of the galaxy to be habitable to all uh, xenos uh, aside from humans of course xenos uh, alike <laughs> And at the same time, we'll hope that we will end this war within the next 10 minutes. Because it's, uh, you know, it took me two hours <laughs> to, uh... Okay. So I guess that's the thing that, uh... Probably I'll just have to write the guy a project here. Oh, what's this? Okay, uh, we got 10,000 credits. Um, we could, uh... Put on New Pakistan to uh King Gaia World. Hmm. In Thailand. Uh okay, so I guess all of the worlds here will uh Well I guess that all concludes all the worlds of the UNS right now. So that means um expect that uh uh, by our probably by our next two law uh, recorded let's play sessions, we will have all uh, the all UNS worlds will to be a Gaia world, very very suitable for uh, uh, life, for any form of life. <laughs> and uh, there we go. We only got 82 uh, 82 here. So it took a lot of uh, war exhaustion for the UNS, but we did secure it. So I'm expecting that my war exhaustion will reach up to 100% here. Uh huh. Okay, we'll just uh, consolidate that. <laughs> Uh, hopefully, I won't have any errors when it comes to the army here. <laughs> okay, we should be winning right about now. <laughs> yep, 12, the last remnants of all Third the... One actual reports, all ground objectives Ooh. secured. That was one artist's uh, battle here. Okay, so we got 92% of all... Uh, yeah, achieved war goals. We'll just uh, send the offer. So hopefully, uh, the diplomatic proposal will automatically be... Oh no, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be declined. Well, yes, of course. So the foreign action union had to decide this one, and uh, unfortunately, uh, all war goal. Uh, unfortunately, not all have uh, signed it yet, but the war goals have already been achieved. So uh, there's no point. <laughs> The Uri Remnant is removed from a major power. Uh, at least the Uri Remnant has been... Uh, I mean, what I meant to say was the Uri Remnant is now removed as a major uh, stellar power in the uh, western side of the Fornax galaxy. So, uh, the major players now, there is the uh, UNS or in general the uh, Fornax Union. So we still have one, two, three, four who would vote for uh, peace. But that's okay. We can uh, they can take their time. Hopefully that won't take five minutes. So I guess I am going to conclude my uh, gameplay here when the uh, Uri Remnant uh, makes a peace deal uh, to the Fornax Union, or the peace deal has been ratified on the second. Uh, Okay, there we go. Alright, uh, we'll need to accept the peace offer with Uri Remnant. So, the Uri Remnant, the, that's the vote for the uh, for next Union, but the Uri Remnant is still... Um, what do you call this? Uh, 
they're still trying to uh, think about it or try to ratify it okay so we're having um, okay there we go it means that they've uh, already accepted it the bear is coming down for science okay so quark babies how dare you claim victory over us well that's the best possible outcome so uh there we go the Uri remnant here oh oh geez tracking spaceborne life form what the hell hmm okay uh huh well we can offer a trade deal with them transfer system uh probably Ethior. no adar we don't want adar anyway Wait, 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 just give me a moment. I'm going to evacuate my uh, humans here before we transfer that system. We're going to put them on New Taiwan, I guess. So, uh, humans first. Um, okay, uh, just give me a moment. Yeah, I'll just go... Oh, what the hell. I'll just go transfer them to anyone. Yeah, just go with New Germany or something. And we'll go uh, think about that later. Okay, that's good. And... Uh, So we're offering them a trade deal and uh, transfer systems a door. Confirm. <laughs> of course, they're very angry about it. Can't blame them. Okay, that's good. So they got now two systems back, and we're just going to go with this one. Um, we're going to establish this one as a new um, uh, the Uri Commonwealth. We're going to create a vassal here. Wait, 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 just give me a moment. Um, we're going to resettle some humans here. Oh my god. Uh, Jesus, this is really problematic for me. Okay, I'm just gonna go for humans, humans, uh, humans. So, uh, yeah, let them do this. Uh, um, this will be the new sector, will be called uh, Uri Commonwealth. The Uri. Commonwealth. Okay, so that there we go. So we establish a new. Uh, okay, uh, expansionist. Um, <laughs> yeah, of course it's a defensive pack. Okay, um, they're vassals. Yeah, okay, we'll just put them as vassals. We're, we're okay with that. Agreements is identical to the current one. Hmm. Okay, how about tributary? That'll be nice. Overlord conflicts. Okay, defensive. Um... What's Calarum? Yeah. Okay. Proceed. Okay, so that's uh, 
that's uh, the Uri Commonwealth and the Uri Republic. So, uh, yeah, so they're loyal, and uh, we're just gonna check their planet here. Um, holdings. Okay, so it should have plus zero five. Uh, I think we should go for loyalty. Overlord Foundry, Orbital Overlord Garrison. Just to make sure that they. Uh... Okay, so there we go. We're just gonna end our recorded Let's Play session here. So for those who are watching this. Uh, thank you and uh, have a pleasant day and see you on my uh, 18th recorded uh, Let's Play session here in Solaris. Again, this is, for, uh, um, this is the Fairy Archivist and have a great day everyone. So I'm just going to save this one. 17, letter D. There we go and bye bye for now.